Greetings, my name is John Gabriel and this is the new Calculus channel. <clears throat> so today I'd like to talk with you about mainstream cranks and the anatomy of a mainstream crank. I think it's very important because um, uh, it's playing a huge role in how students perceive uh, mathematics, pedagogy, uh, learning of mathematics, etc. So let's begin. Now, as I've told you before, I do comment on this site, on this uh, news group called Sci.Math, and there's this really idiotic character called Zealous Malum. This is his email address here. And uh, it's a back and forth thing, you know, whereby I really respond only to educate others. I, I know that it's, 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 a, it's a lost, lost task trying to uh, educate Zealous Malum. He cannot be convinced because he is a mainstream crank. So what is, what is a crank, by the way? Well, generally a crank is defined as somebody that is against the mainstream. And that seems a little contradictory, doesn't it? Well, uh, well, guess what? That's not the most important attribute of a crank. The most important thing about a crank is that he or she cannot be convinced, contrary to their opinion, in the face of overwhelming evidence. Now, why is it that that's the most important? Because time and again in history, we've seen that the mainstream has not been correct. Okay, And I do not... Uh, uh, I do not misunderstand what mainstream opinion is. I simply don't agree with a lot of it. Okay, so that's that's a lot different to, to uh, you know, having these people call me a crank because I simply just don't agree with what they're saying, right? Now, so so what I'm saying to you is that in order to be called a crank, one must meet that one that particular criterion. In other words, in the face of overwhelming evidence, refuse to admit you are wrong and be corrected. So one of the things I notice about um, mainstream cranks is that they, they live according to a certain mantra. So, um, you know, for example, when they don't understand or when they cannot explain what they uh, advocate, they will simply fall back on to something that may not even be relevant, but that stresses or seemingly supports their erroneous beliefs. So, for example, um, <laughs> the, in, in this uh, one of these uh, one of these comments here that he made, he says, uh, "Oh yeah, uh, this one here is pretty funny." He says, uh, "All it assumes this definition." the mainstream definition of derivative is that it is a field we have addition negatives and inverses for non-zero elements now this goes all the way back to another discussion i had with him where he also didn't uh, manage to see the light but i responded and i said the above quote reminds me of math graduates who claim that they learned all about the laws of com commutativity associativity etc and never really understood anything else so all of Malum's notions are based on the mantra that forms the basis of his false beliefs. When he can't understand or explain, all that he does is resort to the mantra, simply repeat what he has been brainwashed to believe is true. Now, uh, it, it's quite incredible because, you know, dealing with this person who uh, purportedly has a master's degree in mathematics from a public university in Sweden. It's, it's a little mind boggling, isn't it? That when you prove this person to be wrong, he will simply disregard everything you say and call you a crank. Well, he calls me a crank and that is absolutely false because I'm not a crank and if, if anything, I am a real mathematician and the majority of those fools in the mainstream who call themselves mathematicians do not deserve to do that. They, they, they do not deserve to be called anything to do with math because 
they have never produced any great works. And I'm sorry, I don't care if they have PhDs. That's like a high school student writing an essay. Um, writing a, a PhD dissertation does not make you a mathematician, period, ever. To be called a mathematician, you need to produce great works. Okay, so uh, a crank, by the way, and I'll provide a link to this comment so that you can read it in your own time. A crank is one who cannot be convinced in the face of overwhelming evidence. Uh, now, if you go to Wikipedia and you read the entry there, well, <laughs> they'll say a crank is anyone that doesn't agree with the mainstream. Well, it's written by the mainstream. <laughs> Why else would they write it that way? And of course, they have a vested interest in uh, controlling the acquisition and the dispensation of knowledge they believe to be correct. So if you're not, uh, if you haven't been peer reviewed, uh, again, you'll never get to be peer reviewed if you don't hold the same views as they do. So uh, it, it's almost a, a stupid question when somebody asks you, well, have any of your uh, works appeared in peer reviewed journals? Obviously not, because they don't agree with what I'm saying. And they don't, it's not that they don't only not agree, even those who do agree, dare not state publicly that they agree with me, because they'll lose their tenure, and they'll ruin their career. So, you know, there's, there's a lot that meets the eye behind this. It's not just, uh, it's not just uh, being a, a mainstream crank, but there's dishonesty, there's uh, jealousy, and all the other gamut of human emotions. So anyway, uh, that's all I wanted to discuss in this uh, uh, little video about the anatomy of a mainstream crank. So I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, hope to chat with you soon again. My name is John Gabriel. This is a new calculus channel. Till next time, goodbye.